Paul, did you sleep in here? Maybe. How do we... There's literally no way I'm going to let you inside me. <laughs> I let you inside me. Well, I'd like to think I charmed you into letting me inside you, but yeah, I was in there. <laughs> hey, are you okay? Because you left hours ago and you look real pale in you. Smell like sadness. I have AIDS. Joke. I don't have AIDS. <laughs> that's not, that's not funny. Well, great talk. Gotta go, real busy. Hey, you know what? Just thinking out loud here, I don't have to be at work for another 30 minutes and I've got an, um, got an erection that is begging to come back. So maybe we can, uh, you know. Okay, but I want your mug. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna miss that thing. All right, well, I'll, I'll see you in there. You promised. You promised that if I got here by 7 a.m. that I could have the slutty brownie. And now it's 7 a.m. I got here at 5. And today is my cheat day. I skipped drum circle so I could be here early. Drum circle. Do you know how upsetting that is? It seems unbearable. Don't patronize me. Oh, here she is. Here is our pastry chef, Angela. This gentleman would love a slutty brownie. Exactly. I don't get your mug. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think it just means I drink out of your mom. Like, for vaginal fluids, maybe? Or I don't really know, but it's fun, right? $11.95. Thank you so much, sir. We it's better really... not give me cancer. I can't guarantee that. Kitchen. No. Kitchen. No. Are you serious right now? Mm-hmm. Are you serious right now? Mm-hmm. Hey, you do remember you were supposed to open this morning, right? I'm sorry. It was a weird morning. Ange, I quit law school to be your partner in this. So unless this mug grows into a fucking beanstalk, which leads us to a pot of gold, I suggest you help me with this. Okay. I'm sorry. I love you. I know. You gonna compliment my cake? I will when it's done. It's, it's half done. It's gonna be ready for tonight, right? Yeah, it's gone, relax. Do you think that Meat's parents are gonna hate me and then make him take back the ring and then one day I'm gonna choke on some pesto dinner and I'm probably gonna die and nobody's gonna find my body because obviously no one will ever love me and I'll be by myself for the rest of my life? Sweetie, I think you're saying pesto wrong. I'm Italian, you're saying pesto wrong. Look, it's gonna be great. Everything's gonna be great, you're gonna be great, they're gonna be great, plus, they're gonna love your cake so much, they're gonna wanna put a little of meat right up inside of you. What did I tell you about touching my vagina? to do it. Okay, thank you. And thank you for making this cake in time for tonight's party. Yeah, girl. Yep. You gonna keep shoveling that frosting in your face or should I call your therapist now? Okay, don't do that. Mm Mm-mm. Go, get out, get out of my face, go. Okay. Get pretty. I'll bring it over. Hello, beautiful. You're not
never I've never met and you and I will never meet No, you and I will never ever, 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 ever meet You and I have never met and you and I will never meet No, you and I will never ever, 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 ever meet You and I will never ever hold our hands, hold our hands You and I will never ever make no plans, make no plans You and I will always be the perfect couple, yes, forever I will never snore in bed and you'll never smell me, never You and I will never met, and you and I will never meet, and you and I will never ever, 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 ever meet. You and I will never met, and you and I will never meet, no, you and I will never ever, 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 ever meet. You and I will break no egg or each other's hearts for breakfast. You and I will never ever let our feelings go to waste, and you and I will always be the perfect couple. Yes, forever, I will never let you go, and you will try to leave, not ever. Eating disorder treatment facility? You signed yourself into treatment last night. At the end of the tunnel. You know why you're hitting on me right now? Because I just threw up in the bathroom. Women tricks. <sighs> Angela, you need to come in tomorrow. Sometimes I just want to die. Please, come in tomorrow. No, I said die. But I'm going to go home with Paul. He has his own mug. Isn't that stupid? <laughs> wow, me. Uh... I'm sorry, you can take me off your list. I don't have an eating disorder. Well, if you don't show up in the next 35 minutes, you will be charged our full day rate, which is $1,200. $1,200? Are you fucking our shitting me? Is 633 East Westerby Way. I look forward to meeting with you. Fuck! <laughs> Oh my god, you can't eat in here. No, 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 no. no you. Frodo better be in fucking Mordor or I'm gonna lose my shit. Wow, you're really angry. Don't Look, somebody book. here called me from your little food clinic. Oh, food clinic. Frodo Clinkin. Mm -hmm. I see what I did there. <gasps> okay, you're, you're not fat and you're not thin and you look like you've been drunk for like a week. Let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. Bulimia. Am I right? Am I right? Okay, let me see your teeth. Not okay. Just, just, not, just okay. Like, like not okay. Like not like okay. Not okay! Sorry. <laughs> Spit me there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. Fuck! Your mother! Oh, hell no. Didn't I tell you fuckers last week that if you brought in one more skinny bitch, I'd kill myself right here in this fucking lobby? What, 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 do you think my insurance is gonna cover that? What do you think? Oh, oh I hope you choke on a low-fat dick. I'm out! We have fun here. <laughs> but he'll see you now. Go on ahead. Frodo. Angela Mills. Thanks for the blackmail. Dude, I was pissed drunk last night. There is no way I meant to sign up for this fucking clinic. Okay. I was picking up on you last night. All right, really? guilty. Yeah. You caught me, okay? But after we talked for a second, I had you fill out one of these. Ooh, Frodo, you are terrible with women and I don't think it's unreasonable to assume that you'll die alone. I am terrified of being overweight. Your answer, always. <sighs> I feel out of control when it comes to food. Sound familiar? Always. Food occupies the majority of my thoughts. Always. 
I vomit after I eat. Always. Do you have food in your mouth? No. Did you put food? Don't. You can't eat in here. I'm not. Come on. Give me that. Okay. Oh, boy. Thanks, I guess. Anyway, it goes on like this for a while. Come on, ma'am. This isn't the fucking 90s. Nobody has an eating disorder anymore. Look, I appreciate the concern, Mr. I save sad women so I can fuck them, but I'm fine, okay? okay. All right. Dude, what are you doing? Oh, Jesus. Listen. Oh, wow. You have bulimia. You know how serious that is? Bulimia can cause seizures, it can cause ulcers, depression, yeah. heart attacks. Uh -huh. Okay, I don't think you know how sick you are. And I think that you're feeling out of control, and so I, I feel like you're, mm -hmm. you're drinking, mm -hmm. like you did last night, mm -hmm. and you're acting out, mm -hmm. and you're making yourself throw up so that you... No, no, what are you doing? Come on, don't. Stop. No? No. It's not what you're looking for? No, no. Come on! A $1,200 fine after coercing me to sign some papers while I was drunk? Dude, I've watched enough Law & Order to know there is no way that's legal. Just ask me out, dude! I'll say yes! I have no standards. I fucked a guy for this mug this morning. I, I want to admit you to our partial hospitalization program, okay? It's 11 to 6. It's Monday through Saturday. We're gonna work with your insurance. You're not gonna have to pay. Hospitalization program? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I get it. Good. I know I have a problem. This is serious. Okay. It's just gonna... It's gonna take me a little time to think about it. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> hey, this is a lot. You know how good it was you came today? <laughs> this is good. This is part of it. <laughs> this is good, Angela. Fuck <laughs> you, Yeah. <laughs> This is what? <laughs> Fuck you. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck your mom. Why are we meeting out here? Are we doing a drug deal? I just didn't like want to see anybody having like a shitty day. Can I talk to you for a second? Okay, but first me. I think Amit's mom hates me and wants me to die in a fire. Like an explosion or just a regular house fire? Okay, will you come back in there with me, please? If I have to do this alone, I think I might drown myself in my own pesto. It's pesto, just say pesto. I'm going to beat you to death with this cake. Please. Fine. Fine, it's perfect. It's already done. So let's party. Okay, fine, whatever. So Paul's like a, like a thing that you're, ser like you're, you're serious about. Be nice to him. He's nice. such a great guy. Wow, it smells like an Italian sex club in here. Elisa, this is my very best friend, Angela. Angela, this is. This is Elisa, Hi. Amit's mom. Hello. Hello. God, Amit never told me how epically bangable his mother is. I never told you that? That's so weird. How old are you, Jesus? Did you birth him in the womb? Your skin is like an angel. I was a teen mom. Not something we usually brag about, but sure. Don't be sexist, to me. She can pop him out whenever she damn well wants. Don't, let's not talk about oh, that. Oh, I like this one, Amit. Maybe you should date her instead. No, no, just kidding. <laughs> 
Although you never know. Angela was nice enough to bring over the cake that I made, so I figured she should stay and eat some of the, the cake that I made. Angela, I love your hair color. Thank you. I, I have the same hair color. I mean, mine's natural. <laughs> Angela's my business partner. When she's not drunk or late or just generally being a disaster. What are you doing, I, sweetie? I'm not really sure. Okay. Wait till you taste this cake. It's fantastic. Uh, no, I don't do sugar. I hear a new guest. Oh, hi. Wow. I mean, you didn't tell me that you were dating two beautiful women. What? No, I'm not, I'm not dating. I dude. am Paul. And that is what I am. Angela. Yeah. Are you Meat's dad? No, God. No. Oh, no. I wish. No. 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 Uh, uh, Meat's dad's dead. Nope. Not, he's not dead. No. We don't know. We do know. He's not, he's at home. Paul is my boyfriend. <laughs> Or a meets new dad, as we all like to say. Well, like, nobody says that because he's my age. He tutored me in high school. Okay, well, let's see who you call next time you get one of those bad dreams. Hey, buddy. Paul. Stop asking. Hey, call me dad. I'm not gonna call you dad. I mean, I love you. I love you. Angela, so. tell us about yourself. Are you dating anyone? Angela's actually doing this whole thing called what? It was Freedom Year, where she just sleeps with a ton of people until she gets herpes. Did you get your test results back, by the way? I'm sorry to hear that, because you are certainly a catch. Thank you. She has hurt me? I don't know. Angela has to leave. She has a horrible relationship with food, so we don't want to trigger anything. No. So let's say bye for oh, now, no. okay? No. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stay. I want some more wine, I want some more pasta, and I think it's time for the cake. No, no, no. Oh, no. No, 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 Angela, please. I'm sorry. Engagement? Surprise. Michael, hey, this is Joshua Amstel, so I'm gonna catch you. I uh, I wanted to talk because I'm I want to act out. Uh, I'm sorry to bother you. Um, God, I'll just let me just lay it out there, and you can call me back and I don't know, tell me what you think. I've been feeling triggered lately, so I put myself on a 30-day timeout, abstaining from everything, and uh, it was going okay. But I went out last night, and I met somebody, and well, I want to hook up with her. <laughs> I know I can't do that, so I thought it might be a good idea to jerk off to a, uh, some pictures that we took at the bar. If you could call me back or talk me through this or send me a fucking email. Oh God, I hope you're not in the car with your family on Bluetooth. I apologize. I wanted to masturbate to some photos we took, which is not good either. So anyway, also she may or may not be a patient of mine. to make a toast. Please don't. Here is to a perfectly convenient union of two boring people who decided it was probably time they get married. I hope you have a lifetime of marginal love and settling. I'll drink to that. Go the fuck home, Angela. I have to admit, I still like her better than that one. Oh, but let's be honest, you're not a very good judge of character. What? What, 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 what? You don't recognize this, Brad Mott? No. To est, boyfriend, they fucked me last night. <laughs> I don't speak French, but yeah, I fucked Paul. Oh, that's your mark. Oh, I get the joke now. Go home. Please, just go home. Fine, but I'm taking my cake. Yeah, that's right. I made this cake. I'm a motherfucking artist. So fuck you, I'm fucking mom. And I'm taking my fucking mug.
This is Joshua Amstel of the Human Hearts. This is Joshua Amstel. I have a super tiny office. I almost definitely had an adult circumcision. <laughs> You're so freaking serious all the time. You're like, how can I help you? I talk like a 60 year old man. <laughs> Frodo. Classic fucking Frodo. Angela, you can't talk you can't talk to me like this. We can't talk like this. We don't have this kind of relationship. <laughs> You're just mad because I totally nailed that impression of you. Hey. What? Hey. What? What? What was your hot wife's name? Did she kill her? Be honest. I'm a friend. What are you doing? Nothing. Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Angela? Huh. Oh yeah. my god, Angela. Yeah. I'm done. I'm so done. I'm breaking up with you. Our friendship is over. And no calling me tomorrow saying how sorry you are and that you're gonna get help and you're gonna get better. I don't believe you. You know, I really needed you tonight. But instead, you made my engagement party a big fucking circus. And I hate the circus. Fuckers. You just wanted me there to make yourself look better. No, I wanted you there as backup. Backup that didn't sleep with my future mother-in-law's boyfriend. You're so fucking selfish. Stop the car. What? Just stop the car! Hey! Did, is that my cake? Are you seriously still eating my fucking cake? No. Maybe I will go away and by the way I mean I'll stay By the way my number days will melt away by some rain You keep leaving to say you return to me how many times when this man get burned I mean I sperm and I learn the terms of what it means to love But sometimes yo I wanna give up I'm like fuck She won't even answer my text I'm not paranoid I'm just trying to call for some sex A cuddle a rub a dub with some dude I just want to get you in that fabulous mood That you crave and you love when you actually do But your complications got you complicated And dude, it's all good fam It was really no feud A simple situation is a fact I'm fine. Oh